Good morning, Fremont family. My name is Pete Montgomery. I'm one of the elders at church. I'm coming to you today with this week's memory verse. This week, we're going to be looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14, which says, For Christ's love compels us, because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died. When we read this verse, we look at it in the context of the Apostle Paul writing to the church in Corinthians, and he's speaking about his motivation for ministry. If you read back a couple uh, verses, um, Paul is um, putting out there that there are many who think that he's crazy for the way he continues to minister despite all the suffering um, and things that are, he's going on. And when Paul writes, um, when, when the Apostle Paul wrote, the love of Christ compels us, he was describing the powerful spirit-filled motivation that drives followers of Christ to share the gospel in ways that persuade people to commit their lives to Jesus. We've been talking a lot in session and staff meetings um, about how we want to be a church um, which does just that, that we feel this spirit-filled motivation that will drive us to share the gospel with people who may not know it. So I thought about this verse in the context of that discussion and that and study and, and prayerful uh, dedication that we as uh, members of session have been going through. Paul is explaining this motivation to the Corinthians. He wanted them to not be ashamed of him or the message of reconciliation that brings life to those in who embrace it. Paul understood the futility of life without Christ and the empty pursuit of righteousness through self-effort. Even though the people to whom he preached were often host hostile to him, called him crazy, the love of Christ compelled him to keep putting that message of hope in front of them. Paul knew that his distractor, detractors were starving for a sense of meaning, purpose, and significance in the world, much like we see today. This love of Christ compelled Paul to share the gospel. The phrase, the love of Christ, could be interpreted in two ways. Christ's love for people or the apostles' love for Christ. Either provides the motivation to take the gospel to distant lands in the face of oppositions. The great love of Christ was such that Christ died for all people. Paul's love for Christ was such that he was willing to die to self. When I was reading this testimony of Paul, it encouraged me to ask myself, what motivates me to share the good news of Jesus with others? Am I driven by a genuine love and affection for Christ? by a clear view of Christ's love for the lost, or merely a sense of duty. What motivates us will make all that difference. When we possess this compelling, spirit-driven motivation of Christ's love, we are zealous in seeing that the lost are reconciled with God. We go to the lost rather than letting them come to us. We are willing to make ourselves as the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 9, 19, a slave to everyone, to win as many as possible. We become all things to all people so that by all possible means we might save some, which we'll see in later verses. The love of Christ compels us to love the lost enough to share the good news of salvation with them. So again, as we look back, 2 Corinthians 5, 14, let's memorize this verse. For Christ's love compels us because we are convinced that one died for all and therefore all died. Have a great week.